So welcome to this part. This should be part 15 of our complete application in ASP.NET and C Sharp and SQLite. And this is going to be a very interesting part because we are now going to be talking about authentication and authorization. It's actually called ASP.NET Core Identity. So basically, how do we set up a login page and allow users to log in and register as well? We are going to be doing this in this part. Again, if you are joining for the first time, please go back and start from the beginning because this is a step-by-step -step with no coding or maybe very little coding and it's for everyone. If you have challenges, please let me know, subscribe. And also, if you want to support me, buy me a coffee, support me on Patreon or in other ways. This is very motivating to me. Let's now go ahead to get started. Before now, when we uh, launch this application, we have um, uh, the application starts up without any uh, security, without login page, and we want to change it so that before the user can access this application, he has to go through a login page. And this is very interesting in .NET because the way .NET generates everything for you, both the tables and the, some of the codes, is really very amazing. Let's follow the procedure because you have the step-by-step -step right here in my website. So the first thing we want to do, remember we already have a layout page for our application that contains the navigation sidebar and other components. However, we want to, we would like to have a different page for login, registration, and password reset. The reason is because these pages should be accessible without authentication. So they don't contain sidebar, the navigation sidebar, or the header. You can check them out from the original template, the original template we downloaded. So I told you, and the template we downloaded, let's just go to check. So this is the index page, right? And now uh, the login page should be, uh, let's see, let's just check the login page. You can see the index page has all the sidebar. And now the login page, you can see it doesn't have any sidebar, it's just the login form. Okay, that is clear. Let's now continue. And the first step says, create a new layout page in the shared folder by duplicating the layout.cshtml page. CSHTML page, name this page layout login the CSHTML. It's simple. So I'm going to go to our uh, shared folder. I'm going to copy this layout page. I'm going to copy it and simply paste it. And I'm going to simply rename it to layoutlogin.cshtml. So I'm going to just change this to layoutlogin. So in this template, in this uh, layout, we're going to remove the sidebar because we are going to use this layout for login. Now, we would rather, we would later customize this page using the login.html page from the template. Okay, fine. Now we want to add the ASP.NET Core Identity. Right click on the project and add scaffolded, scaffolded items. I'm going to go to my project, right click, and add scaffolded item. Now you need to pay attention. Although everything is in my website, the windows up here, choose identity, choose add, and check account login, login, uh, logout register, access denied. But for now, I'll, I'll just use login and register. All right, so let's go here. Um, identity, identity, add. And let's see what happens here. All right, so when this window appears, we want to, you have to be very careful here because you need to uh, get it right. In the selections, check account login and register. So let me use login, which is this one, and register. 
and also check use SQLite instead of SQL Server. So here, yeah, so we have, we'll come to this in a minute. Um, select the login layout, the CSHTML. So in the views here, I'm going to simply click on this place and select layout login. Okay. Now the next thing now is for us to add the context. And the add identity window, click on the plus sign and add a new context. Repeat to add the user class. So let me enlarge this so that we can see what we want to do. So the context I want to add will be a different context that handles authentication. I'm going to call it auth context. So here I'm going to click on the plus sign. Don't type anything here. Click on the plus sign and just call it auth context like this and say add. Now you have to check use SQLite instead of SQL Server and that we have to create the user class. Permit me to just go back. We have to create the user class by clicking on the plus sign here. So I'm going to call it application user. I'm going to call it application user add and then I'm going to simply click on add. So it's going to scaffold and generate all the necessary artifacts, including the views, the classes, and any other uh, code snippet we need. So let's see. So after a few seconds, the identity is successfully added to the application. So if you look at the Solution Explorer, you will see a new folder called Areas. These contain the necessary artifacts for the identity selected. So it's still working. Okay, perfect. It's done. Now the scaffold read me so we can just close. Now in our application, we can now see a new folder called Areas, which is this one. And if I expand it, you can see identity, you can see data, you can see pages, and this is what you need to have uh, showing that everything went well. Okay, so we need to set up the configuration. A few more things that we need to do. So on the start of the CS file, we need to add, do, uh, add a, a code that says services.addRazorPages. So in our start of the CS, a second. So I'm going to come to this file and uh, here I'm going to say services dot add razor pages. That's one. And the second one says in the configure methods, enable authentication just before use authorization. So in the configure methods, enable authentication just before use authorization app dot use authentication which is the first one which is this one this is fine and inside the endpoint call add the following endpoint dot map razor pages so i'm gonna come here and say endpoint dot map Razor pages, and this is fine. All right. At this point, you can launch the application, and we can go to login to see if the login page works, and also the registration page. So I'm going to come here, save everything. I'm going to build, build solution, uh, and I think it will succeed. Fine. So I'm going to launch this application at this point.
All right, for now, we added the login, um, but the pages, we've not added protected resources or pages. So if I go to, um, let's see. So it's going to be identity slash account slash login. So you can see the login page works. So this is the login page, but you can see the sidebar here, which actually should not be. And also if I go to register, you can also see the registration page where you can create a new account. And this is also fine. So if you've come this far, great. The next thing we want to do is to customize the login page and we are going to do that in the next tutorial. For now, I'm going to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if this has been informative for you. If you like, please support me or by buying me a coffee or support me on Patreon. And if you have challenges, please leave me a comment below and I'm going to try as much as I can to respond to you. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.